<laughs> How does that miss? How does that miss? <laughs> that oh doesn't God. make any sense. Let's review. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate events, the book series, and we'll uncover something new. <clears throat> what a pain in the ass. I should have opened disagree, the water. But our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. <sighs> Sorry, taking a drink of water. <clears throat> My throat needs it, man. <clears throat> Plus, maybe. Oh, yeah, okay. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. Alright then, let's take another look back at what happened. I suppose we could start with this morning. Oh, Sakura, please don't give us another run back. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else so showed up. So we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after 7. That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo Justice. Robo Justice. It also soon became clear that Robo this Justice had abducted Hifumi. We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. <clears throat> What's wrong? Didn't I do this flashback before? I saw a shadow, something moving around the top of this. I think this is literally recounting what we had her tell us. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> when Celeste told us that, we decided to split up and search the second so floor. So from first to that. second floor. I saw someone moving around on the third floor, and I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. So, oh my god, this is this is literally exactly what we already been through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Celeste, what's wrong? I was rather a screen for someone like you. I saw no, him afraid of some stupid. <laughs> oh boy! He ran off as, he ran soon, off as, as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Oh ho! And then. The hallway! Oh yeah! Ho ho ho! Uh, what was that? Came from downstairs, it must have been. If only he's in the nurse's office! This is bad. Come on, we have to go. At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. While Sakura, Byakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. Mm -hmm. And when we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi, quote unquote, dead. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement, which was actually Taka. Mm -hmm. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Hey! Oh, oh! It switched on you! Hey! We must have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hofumi. And the three of us headed for the nurse's office, right after we left the physics lab. Sorry, the psychics lab. We ran into <laughs> Celeste, who'd arrived after us, and she told us something very surprising. <gasps> Fuma's body disappeared! We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we left Toko passed out in the equipment room, so we hurried back again. This can't be happening. 
Are we, are we hallucinating, hallucinating all this or something? Oh my! When we got there, we discovered that now Taka's body had also gone missing. Which, I mean, damn, Hafumi would have had to move quick. Yeah. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And after some time... Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository. Actually, now that I think about it, that makes so much more sense. Because the killer did not care about hiding the bodies. That's why it was unlocked yeah. when he left. Uh... Which is where we rediscovered the corpses. I think that about covers it. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. Okay, well, if that's true, then what? <sighs> Rather, a single series of events. I think we have to consider each martyr a separate situation. From there, we can un uncover the conjunction center. <laughs> 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 no, the <laughs> Beginning with what happened to Taka. The contradictions hidden in what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth of this case, I have to find them no matter what. So, something about he died at 6. Yep. Probably. Monokuma file okay. number 3 blows to the head. Well, I mean, he did die to a blow to the head. No, it was before. He died before. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's it. No, he didn't. Why aren't you clearing out the... Get the bonus I time! But I don't need to! Oh, okay. <laughs> Just saying... It's not necessary right now. Cause it it, oh, it time. doesn't specify which order they were killed in. Yep. Yeah, so we go by order. Came up... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the order. Okay, oh. it's the numbering. What? What? All right, game. You better have a good fucking explanation. Son of a bitch. <laughs> It's got me all frazzled now, because that doesn't... How do you get... How does you get the numbers from the Monokuma file? Are you... That's That wasn't even... <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. need the extra time! <laughs> okay. Alright, game. Bam! Bam! Man, you got son of a bitch. Why does it always come after? <laughs> That's oh. where you need to use the slowdown power, I guess. <laughs> no, who needs slow? You. I don't need slow. <laughs> no. If you I'm a it, pro you've wasted gamer. two minutes. <laughs> How does that miss? How does that miss? <laughs> Oh, Are you kidding me? Are you being serious? <laughs> the cursor in the spot. Just shoot. No! Yes! <laughs> Are you. Excuse me? How? Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is ridiculous. Slow down. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh my. Oh my god. I swear to god, if it's a fucking. You need to memorize this. Oh my. How. Are you fucking. Mm, which. Alright, which one is. What do we have to memorize? Oh shit. No, remember, we can um, absorb the statement. Yeah, that's what I mean. But which. Which one? 
Which Chocolate order? came last? Yeah, but do we have to go, oh, the numbers contradict the order, or do the order contra- like, what? Which- what- it's which way do they want you to do it? Okay, so if we do this... Of course. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is so dumb. Alright, I mean, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna just do it the other way. Because it's gonna be easier. This is just so, so much dumb. I like how we already knew this, but oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! We knew the answer. This is so dumb. Okay, I'm fine, Jared. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Hold on. There's no reason to assume the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. Anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order. But in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Okay then, let's see the proof. The note, you dipshit! <laughs> Evidence that <laughs> the note and the, and the watch! Proves Taka was killed before Hifumi. Um... Yes. A broken wristwatch. How do I do this again? I don't. F wristwatch. Yes, wristwatch. Hold on. How do I do this? Uh, you just have to shoot the letters. Why? Oh yeah, I have to shoot them so, a lot. So R I S W W A C H Z. Oh. No, no, oh my god. What? You have to do them in what? order. Oh, are you fucking... Oh. Stop, uh, I don't even... I don't even fucking... Yes. Whatever. Uh, I just want to throw my controller through my monitor right now. <laughs> I. I. As. 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 W. A. C. H. H. Give me an H. Give me a H. For I hate this game. Nobody believed me. <laughs> Uh, uh, I got it. Talk his wristwatch. See, look, it broke with the hands just point past six o'clock. Must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer. Because as of last night. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop giving me flashbacks! Uh, hey, you! How long are you gonna keep on waiting? I was there as a voice pierced through the air as she stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost ten o'clock. You know that. Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. So it wasn't broken after six last night, then he must have been attacked around six this morning. That would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Fumi. <sighs> I need a drink, and not just water. Hey, I have a drink that's not mm. just water. Oh, I, sh I should for the headache this is giving me. And before Celeste, you was are the this one. Morning, okay, this is your. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't pay attention enough. <laughs> no, that was just freaking hilarious. That we missed the freaking word, and it wasn't even the right one. Like. <laughs> like <laughs> that was so dumb. It's so dumb because we knew what it was. Mm -hmm. It's just like oh, but no, you gotta do it just specific way. Oh. 
whatever. I'm over it. It's fine. <laughs> That's right. Taco was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us. We made the wrong assumption about the Order's events, all because of those justice hammers. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer, and had them increase in size. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Now, if Taka was killed around 6, then everyone's alibis for his murder goes out the window. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder. But all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's right. With him, at least, we're all safe. Uh, what was that? I came from downstairs and walked away to Yay! Yes. Southern accent! Too many flashbacks! Okay. There's been like 10. I don't know. When we heard Hafumi screaming, we were all together, except for Hiro and Kyoko. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's when we found his body. That's totally true. We're all in the clear. Oh, I know, they must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, and played it later on. That's true. Where's the tape? I don't know. I'm just going making up stuff. Anyway, we all have rock sal salad, uh, salad. Oh, uh, rock, rock salads. Salad. <laughs> rock solid alibis for when we heard Fumi scream. Ah. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment after we just. What the hell am I doing? There was also the moment when we discovered <laughs> his body had disappeared. Uh, you've been listening to me talk. For too long <laughs> that's that's definitely it that's yep. totally it when his body vanished from the nurse's office <laughs> Hina and I were in the bathroom together while everyone else was in the equipment room correct and then there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room at that time we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of a Fumi going missing well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time. Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then! Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Ifumi's body. Because as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. <laughs> Besides, I didn't do either of them anyways. <laughs> wink wink. In other words, is it impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi? It is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko have, had disappeared, so they most certainly could have done those things. Um, so what now, Kyoko? For now, we can't get fixated on who did, or we'll keep going around in circles. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Fumi's body got moved. That's true. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. And according to what Celeste said... Oh my god! <laughs> Jared, you you take over for this one. I can't. Howdy! There's been too many. Oh god. We could... this, I, I, you're just gonna say howdy? Yeehaw. Get along, little doggy. Beautiful. <laughs> His body apparently disappeared in the one minute. At her and Hina took their eyes off of it. They carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third in that short amount of time. Oh man, yeah. There's no way it'd be impossible. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? Huh? Steroids. How? If the dead body were to steroid itself. What? What did you just say to me, Kyoko? The dead body moved on its own? Oh, no, 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 no. Not another g g ghost! I don't think it has anything to do with the occult. I think what she's implying is... We thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. 
Yeah. He was alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? But I mean, we found his body. He was dead. Perhaps he was simply playing dead. That is, isn't possible. The idea that Hifumi was still alive? Is it really possible? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. We already discussed this, like, 15 minutes ago between ourselves. How does the broken wristwatch mean anything in this? Uh-huh. Get, get out of the way! He was actually still alive. Mm -hmm. That was impossible. You surely heard the buzz. Ah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm. Alright, what was the first one? Um, that he was dead. So... Oh, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, someone else's discovery and the dead body had been found. Yeah. I just don't know in what order. Absorb that one. Okay. Who needs the purple? Not me. I'm a or I've graded this. Give me. Dang. Come on. Show me the money. Bah. Yeah! We actually figured out the game's logic. Yay! Woo! Was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe, but that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hafumi or Taka. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that... It's only broadcast when three more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. No, actually, that was plenty. Huh? You said it only broadcasts when a body is discovered for the first time. Which means... Even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Huh? Later on? Exactly. I heard the body discovery announcement twice. The second body discovery announcement. Was in the repository. The first time it played was when we found each body in the nurse's office and the equipment. And the second time was uh, when... Both bodies were rediscovered. We heard it the second time in the repository when we rediscovered the two bodies. Ding dong, ding dong. Body has been discovered after a certain amount of time, which yeah, we are bleh, last trial. It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. Then in reality, when the two bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being discovered for the first time! So when we found Fumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Meaning he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon him in the repository. And that's just part of it. 
There's one thing that leads me to believe that he was still alive in the nurse's office. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I know, I know. Because he was super good at playing dead. Bada bing, bada boom! That is the worst logic I have ever heard. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Okay then, let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. This whole thing is pointless. So let's stop being a negative Nancy, There please. has to be proof that shows if Fumi was still alive. I have to find it and show it to everyone. Like, maybe the glasses? Yeah. Just maybe. And, and the cloth? The Fumi's glasses, look at that! We do know the first thing that was in the nurse's office, mm-hmm. Ah! Body disappeared. Uh, that's whatever. His body before his body after being moved. I son of a gap. Notable difference. No notable di that's the, yeah, that's the yeah. difference. That's totally the difference, I, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it was... Was it this one? Ah, yeah, get out of here! Counter break. In fact, there is one clear difference between Hifumi in the nurse's office and the repository. His glasses. But that fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in? When we found Hafumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. The evidence I found in the trash can in the nurse's, nurse's office was uh, a scrap where of paper. Is it? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> he wiped it off with paper. It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. One look at the bloodstain on the cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one on the digital camera, right? And whose digital camera was it? Hifumi's, of course. The character was Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Star Pretty Princess? Pretty Punches? Pretty, pretty... I think it was something like that. PPP. <laughs> I highly doubt anyone but Hifumi would have brought something like this to school. I see your point, and the only people who here who wear glasses are... I would be caught dead using a tacky piece of shit like that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> a few tissues is all I need to keep my glasses clean. Come on, dear, you gotta keep your cursing to a minimum. You're children here. Then there's no question, it belonged to Hafumi. Hmm, mm. so what you're saying is, uh, what exactly? What I'm saying is the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? That's a good point. And it must have been him, right? So let's assume that Hifumi was still alive in the nurse's office. He pretends to be dead, and when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. And he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes possible, wouldn't you say? But then, if he was just pretending to be dead... What was with all that blood? Was it paint or something? No, it was in the fridge! It was the fridge, yes! He probably used one of those. <laughs> Figured if he was gonna play dead, he should go all out, so he just dumped it everywhere. But he got crazy with it and had to wipe his glasses off when he was done. God, what an idiot. And if Hifumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. It would be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. Hmm. Fucking fruit mm. snack. Up, 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 up. Don't do that shit to me. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs>